Most of the time, a herniated disc in the cervical spine is not an emergency. It's very painful, but it's not an emergency. But sometimes it can be critical, and it can be present itself with a situation where you have to go to the emergency room and get emergent treatment. Remember, a herniated disc is putting pressure on the nerves, but sometimes if it's a big herniated disc, it can put pressure directly on the spinal cord, and you'll develop what we call spinal cord symptoms. So, some pain in the arm, that's okay. A little numbness or tingling in the arm, that's okay. Anytime you get progressive numbness, where the numbness is getting worse and worse by the hour, that's an emergency. Anytime you have progressive weakness, where the arm or both arms are getting weak, that's an emergency. Anytime you develop progressive numbness or weakness in the legs, that's an emergency. Any type of loss of bowel or bladder control, absolutely an emergency. You've got to go to the emergency room. If you can't walk, that's an emergency room. So remember, any type of pain in the arms, that's okay. A little numbness and tingling, that's okay. Even a little weakness that's not progressing, you can wait and see your doctor over the next day or two. But when things are progressive, progressive numbness, weakness, problems walking, bowel or bladder problems, absolute emergency. You've got to get out of your place, get to the, call an ambulance, get to the emergency room, or call your primary care right away, or see a spine surgeon right away. Those are very, very rare, but can happen. And short of that, you're okay to wait and let this heal on its own. Remember, most of the time, the herniated discs will get better on their own, and hopefully you're going to be in that group.